Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Excel VBA video, we are going to discuss that how can we create or perform cell referencing using VBA macros in Microsoft Excel. Now what is cell referencing and what does it do? We have already covered previously in our Microsoft Excel video, so I'm not going to reiterate it. But in this video, what I'm going to show you is uh, instead of using the Microsoft Excel, how can we use the VBA code or the developer tab for uh, using that cell referencing and how does it works? So that is our topic for today's video and let's start with it. So first of all, uh, what you got to do is uh, make sure that uh, you are in Excel, then you got to open the VBA. For this, um, as we have already discussed, there are two possibilities. Either you can go to the developer tab and go to VB, uh, that is Visual Basic, or simply you can use the shortcut, uh, which I'm doing right now, which is Alt F11. Now, as soon as you do that, you will see that this uh, VBA window has been opened. And let me just minimize my Microsoft Excel as well like this so that both of them are visible side by side now once you have opened your vba what you got to do is go to the insert and insert a new module now uh, when we are inserting a new module this means that we are creating a new macro so uh, this module one is inserted by default in the properties window let us change its name to something that is relevant to what we are doing that is cell underscore reference okay so because uh, this is the thing that we are going to do then uh, in the code panes what we are going to do is first create a sub procedure uh, so for that we got to write sub and then the name uh, which is going to be the name of our macro itself so cell underscore reference then put an opening and closing parenthesis and as soon as you press enter VB automatically recognizes that yes it is a sub procedure and according to that the VB uh, changes its code like adding end sub and uh, capitalizing S in the letter um, sub okay so this was all about syntax and let us now begin with cell referencing so right now in our excel what we are uh, doing is we are in a cell active cell is a1 so suppose you want to write something on your current active cell then how can you do it using the vb code so uh, here we are all you got to do is type active cell then put a dot when you put a dot, you get a list of all the properties and methods that are associated with this active cell object. And you can use any of these properties if you're not sure that which property must be used. Okay, so I am sure that value property must be used. So just click on value property or just select it and put a tab. Then put an equal sign and here you can provide it with any value but if it is a string value it needs to be in double quotes and if it is not a string value such as if it is a number then it need not be in double quotes suppose i am providing programming knowledge and i am uh, just closing this double quotes so this is what happens when this macro cell reference is started whatever the active cell is in the excel sheet its value would be changed to programming knowledge so let us check that so you gotta just press this play button and you can see a1 was our active cell and its value has been changed to programming knowledge similarly if you just change uh, this active cell to something else and again press this macro again you can do that same thing and again so this is how uh, this thing works. Whatever the active cell is, its value would change. So this was about active cell. Suppose you do not want to work with active cell, but you want to work with something else. Suppose you have a specific cell number and you got to change its value. So how can you do with that? How can you go with it? Okay. So for that purpose, uh, just press enter in your VB. So we are going to write another line of code. 
फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू गॉट टू मेक इन माइंड दैट वॉट इज द एड्रेस ऑफ द सेल इन विच यू वॉन्ट टू चेंज द वैल्यू सपोज ओवर हियर आई हैव टेकन माई डिजायर्ड एड्रेस एज एफ सिक्स सो एफ सिक्स इज द सेल इन विच आई वॉन्ट टू एड सम कंटेंट ओके सो फॉर दैट वट यू गॉट टू डू इज यूज द स्क्वायर ब्रैकेट्स these are square brackets are just present beside the p key on your keyboard uh, so just press this opening square bracket and write the address uh, of the cell f6 was our address then close this square bracket put a dot and write value then put equals and then again write uh, like the previous one you got to provide it with a value which could be string or a number or anything else uh so i'm just providing a string value like it as a youtube channel so youtube channel and then you can just close this double quotes so this is what we have got and now uh, let us change our actor cell to something else say c is 18 and now if we just put a uh, a run then c18 has got programming knowledge and our desired cell that was f6 has got youtube channel similarly if we just change our actor cell to something else say j18 and now we run it then only one change occurs that is we have got this programming knowledge over here but this youtube channel is still over there cause it's the same thing although the change has occurred but we cannot see it so uh, that's how it occurs there is another thing uh, in vb there is a line by line execution of the code means whenever we call this cell reference or whenever we just put this run key then what happens is first this line is executed when its execution is complete then only this line is executed okay so what is the benefit of this suppose we have written this actor cell dot values programming knowledge if we just copy this line and paste it over here so what will happen is first of all the active cell value will change to programming knowledge and say secondly we provide it with some number say 300 is what we have provided okay so if we run it now what will happen is whatever our active cell will be will contain the value as 300 so let's run it click on run and what happens is uh, we get directly 300 as the value and we cannot see programming knowledge written anywhere so what if you want to see it how can you go with it so for that what do we go, uh, need to do is go to this view and uh, actually there must be some debug window over here okay or you can just uh, what you can do is just go to this debug menu and there is this uh, thing written as step into which has got a shortcut as f8 so if you use this shortcut f8 instead of f5 for running this macro then what will happen is you can see this step by step execution of the code written in visual basic so if you want to try it just click on step into so this is this yellow line which shows that what line currently we are on and if you just press f8 this means that the previous line uh has just executed and now vb is preparing to execute this particular line okay so our active cell is f15 and we are going to see the changes now active cell dot value is programming knowledge this is our line if we just press f8 then you can see in the cell f15 which was our active cell its value has changed to programming knowledge means that first line has been executed completely now what uh, vb is preparing itself to execute the second line of code which is the value of the active cell will now change to 300 now if we press f8 what will happen is the value of this uh, cell active cell would change to 300 so these two lines have executed and the third line is preparing for execution which is f6 dot value is youtube channel so if we just press f8 once again then what happens is we actually cannot see it cause there is already the same value which is youtube channel but actually now this uh, thing this line is executed and the end sub line is the last line now if we press f8 then its uh, running has complete 
has been complete now it has uh, been completely executed this macro so this is how the step by step execution of a visual basic code works and if you want to see it you can simply uh, use this step into function now uh, this is hint uh, given to you by microsoft excel itself how can you see it this is the code and if you just press this uh, run button when uh, there are like overlining codes then you have got this kind of menu where you have get this step into function if you use it then also this step into works so that was all about today's video in the next video also we are going to continue our discussion with the cell referencing because there are many more things that needs to be covered so i hope you all have enjoyed this video thanks for watching